tell me about what your sign means. Okay, this is the white man's walk. If you look at the 2012 election results, Obama got 93% of the black vote, 72% of the Asian vote, 71% of the Hispanic vote, and Mitt Romney actually got 59% of the white vote. Being a white person politically is, to a certain extent, a matter of shame. Give me an example. Why is being a white person a source of shame uh, politically? Well, well, I don't know that I can give an example unless... Well, you're out here with a white well, man's walk. I, I know, unless you're asking me to find an example of somebody saying that. I... Well, how do you feel? What, what, how, are, how are white people, how are you being shamed? Well, I'm not being shamed specifically, but there's an idea that white people are destined to fail, to decline. Uh, and maybe it's our society, maybe we need a better model of society where people can be proud of themselves. Do you mean because of the demographics changing that white people are destined to fail because they'll be a minority one day? Well, there, there is certainly that aspect. There are articles written about, what is it, 20, 40 or so white people will be a minority then. And then politics may change. Maybe it'll be payback time. What's the hat about? Well, it's a hat that I bought probably 20 years ago, and I just like the hat. It, no, I, signi no significance to the white man's walk? Uh, n not, not particularly. Uh, I know this is a little bit contradictory because it looks like I have an attitude about Hispanic people. Kind of looks like a sombrero, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So you, you knew that going into it, wearing that. Yeah, but I like the hat, you know. So, so you didn't do it to provoke and, you know, kind of mock Spanish people? No, and there haven't been any Spanish people who've come up to me in, in an angry way or anything. You know, you probably think that I'm a racist and I'm just rationalizing it. I'm just trying to tell my audience what exactly you're out here uh, proposing. Because the majority of people don't feel white people are the ones who have it tough in America. It's the opposite. Well, I, I know, but the, the, the politics of it is certainly targeting white people as oppressors or people destined to lose in the future. And I, don't, I don't hear a lot about that. I hear African-American unemployment is very high. I hear, uh, you know, African-Americans are treated uh, differently than white people by police and by their communities. I don't hear a lot about white people are being uh, discriminated or persecuted or, you know, being rubbed out of society. Well, there, there certainly are examples of black people being targeted by the police. You know, it does, it does run both ways. If you were on the debate stage, what would you say? What are the issues you would bring up about white people being, uh, you know, edged out? Well, look at, I think you'd have to look at the media. You'd have to look at news stories. You'd have to look at films. You'd have to look at the theme. Give me, a, give me specifics, though. You're talking in generalities. What would you say on the debate stage? I can't quote a particular example of, of, some, of a film that I've seen at, at the moment to prove that white people are being discriminated. I'm not talking about films. I'm talking about realistic, well, everyday issues. Films are very important. The media people get their sense of society from the media. So the media focusing on a guy, a black guy getting strangled in Staten Island, the media focusing on a, oh, a black 12-year-old in Cleveland getting shot in two seconds. No, there are all kinds of, of studies being uh, cited in the media about uh, black people being discriminated against. You, you get this all the time. You know, there should be a more even-handed discussion of what, what are white people so, but how are white people being discriminated, I'm asking you? I, I'm saying by, partly by the messages that are disseminated in the media. I don't really hear a lot of uh, meat on the bone here. Well, I, I, I know, and I, maybe that's my problem. I, I should carry a notebook around. Yeah, I think if you're going to come out here with a sign, White Man's Walk, which, to tell you the truth, comes off a little uh, racist. <laughs> what if there was a Black Man's Walk? Would that be acceptable to you? It's not about what's acceptable to me. I'm asking you because it's if there if well there's a Black Lives Matter movement, so yeah. maybe it's phrased differently. I'm just asking you. It's a pretty uh, provocative message, Why? and it doesn't seem like you have really a lot to back it up. Why, as a white man, am I being provocative in saying that I'm a white man and? Uh, you know, saying that I'm not ashamed of being a white man. I voted for Obama, uh, you know, in 2008. 
I didn't vote for him uh, the, the last time because I thought Mitt Romney would be a better uh, president. The political atmosphere is running against white people as, as whites. There is definitely a racial undercurrent. One more time. How? How? I'd have to show you news article, opinion articles, and so forth. I don't keep a file of these things. It's just something that I pick up. Being proud that you're white is one thing, but feeling white people are being persecuted or targeted, it doesn't seem, I don't see that in society, and most people don't see that in society. What about the concept of white privilege? That all white people are privileged because of their white skin color. And there's somehow weak people who got where they were through preferential treatment in a racist society. Isn't that insulting? It's because there are not white people doing what I am doing. There aren't white people organizing for their racial pride or their national pride. There used to be national pride, but no more. And people are lost. Are you kind of afraid of change? Are you afraid of the country changing and, uh, you know, it not being as white, uh, different people's cultures and values coming in? Well, when I grew up, we didn't have this emphasis on race. Maybe it was there, but it was not out in the open. Now it's everywhere. I think we need a more even-handed discussion. We need white people occasionally standing up for themselves as white people. And talk, it doesn't mean that uh, we should hate black people. And, and now I'll throw a bombshell at you. I'm married to a black woman.